Hello and welcome to the ministry of miracles. I'm Arif Gilani, just getting prepared to join the Full Circle Community Podcast Morning Mindset. And I wanted to invite you to this show to be able to help you grow to who you want to grow. But I am just a coach and I wanted to explain my role before we get started. My role as a coach is to listen and to help you create miracles for yourself. I'm here to help you discover what you're already feeling, not to make you feel feelings go away. I'm here to help you identify your options and to make decisions that are truly good for you. I'm here to discuss action steps with you and not to take them for you. I'm here to help you discover your strength, not to rescue you and leave you feeling helpless. I'm here to help you discover to help how you can help yourself. I'm here to help you learn to choose to make a decision. So stay with me. We're going to join in in a minute as I let some music play. Circle Podcast, Digital Network. With that, I'm going to turn it over to your hosts, Arif Thavani and Sherry Thalanir. Good morning. Morning, morning, Sherry. This is... Remind me of uh, just a radio station that I listen to. Welcome, Sherry. What's on your mind this morning? Can you uh, lay a little foundation for the next 20, 30 minutes? I see Shannon Green, my great friend, is here. We're going to ask her some questions with your permission. She's brand new. I want her to do her two-minute introduction. In between, Sherry, lead the way. Okay. We have a great show today because Arif chose a topic that is so near and dear to my heart. But I want to take literally only 30 seconds to tell you a really funny story because it speaks to somebody who takes massive action right away. Arif and Rod and I were in a huddle before this uh, show started and we were making fun of Arif's mustache and in all in love and good humor. And I told Arif, please don't grow your mustache. He had a little thin mustache. Please don't grow it to be a 70s porn star mustache, which meant like, don't let it get really big and bushy because that's just a thing. The man walked away for five minutes and <laughs> massive action right away as an entrepreneur. Good lesson. Thank you, Arif. I appreciate <laughs> the sharing. <laughs> but we're Thank you. Talk about um, about uh, Arif, why don't you tell us what we're going to talk about today? It's great. You know, uh, Sherry, we've been coming together mentally to be on the same wavelength for a while right now, trying to understand communication. Mike, thank you for the clapping. All of you who are here for at least the last two weeks, you know that we have laid the foundation for something absolutely phenomenal. Okay? We are coaches. We are people who go out there to discover what's out there and then to 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 show it. There's six basic human needs you know the hierarchy of maslow some of you studied in college some of you practiced it some of you forgotten it some of you remember it i just want to get you a refresher the first and foremost human need is for safety for for food for survival the air the food the little amenities and then we think about shelter and then we think about uh, you know, growth, and then when we're t- part of a team, we always want to exceed in the team and show our talents. The last stage is self-actualizing. People who lead, people who create, people who are genuine, people who can connect with an intention to serve. That is why we're here, Sherry. I just like to read from this this quote that said that. There's a great deal of human nature in people. See, one of the things that we talked about was yesterday was rules. Rules in your business, rules in your life. I had some notes to close up the session. Sherry, may I share those few tips? 100%, take it away. So it was um, rules that we talked about. And I said about the rules of accurate thinking. What are the rules of accurate thinking? Number one, analyze every statement, every book, every video, everything that you come across to determine if this is false or this is true. God, the universe has given us enough judgment power to determine it, you know, sixth sense, you know, the gut feeling. Those things will tell you if something is true 
or false. Number two, where there's no proof of anything, refer to logic. See, logic will tell us. A lot of people believe in God. And if I ask them, how do you prove that there's a God? They couldn't answer me. But if somebody asked me, Arif, how do you know there's a God? I could give you, based on logic, this universe could not go on and on and on in this orderly manner without an organizing force. You call it God. I call it Jehovah. Another call it Allah. Another call it Buddha. There's the big organizing you know, energy that goes on in every blade of grass, in every human being, in everything that we do. So make your decisions based on accurate facts, backed up with logic, accurate thinking. We're thinking about rules of accurate thinking, right? Next step, when you have your thoughts organized based on logic, then you empty your mind onto paper. I cannot emphasize this. See, when you write, there's a psychological connection. Dr. Joseph Dispenza talks about this extensively. There's a psychological connection. The minute you start writing something down, you start to the next step. How? If it's clear, if it's in front of you, then your next step is, what do I do? You pass that stage, you come in, how do I do it? Okay? That's good. That's good. The next, when you're taking action on the how, you reflect. Man, we're not in a race. We're not competing with anybody. There's no, you know, a race car going on downtown Toronto along those tall buildings. We're in this journey to enjoy, to have fun. You know, uh, Sherry, Sherry challenged me this morning and I'm flexible. Hey, there's, if you're an entrepreneur, it's almost like if you're in a movie of Heat with Robert De Niro and, you know, <laughs> you, you guys have seen, some of you have seen the Heat. And he says, why do you do all of this? He says, well, I've learned in my profession. See, even a, a thief has a goal. He has a motive. He has a need that he needs to fulfill. So those needs that we're going to talk about, I wanted to talk about those. But if you allow me, I'm going to bring up Shannon to introduce herself. It's her first time. She is Miss Mrs. Canada, Jamaica, Universe. She's been traveling the world. She has a lot of inspiring stories. She has a great business. She's in the, uh, you know, she can tell us what business is. She, um, Shannon, are you with us this morning? Hi, good morning, Ari. Good morning, everyone. If you're camera ready, I'd like to see your smile. <laughs> well, I'm Let's driving, but... Yeah. Ooh, entrepreneurs, pay attention to the road, but tell us... There we go. Hey, hands at 2 and 10. Hands at 2 and 10, Ari. Safety well, first, young lady. Safety first. Shannon. Safety all the way. Safety all the way. That's why my camera has been off, so I'm not <laughs> distracted by you beautiful people. Thank you for being here. No problem. Ari, if you already introduced me, what more can I say about myself? Come on. Uh, <laughs> Shannon, Shannon, we tried to build up a community together priorly. Building a community is like building a business. You need to select the people that you feel will fit in the equation perfectly. I, totally I am agree blessed with you. to have found Sherry. I have found Raw to have this great community that is making a wave into serving the community at full circle community. We want people who are talented, who have who have ambition, who have met their basic and required needs of shelter and food and are into the growth phase. And you're one of them. I see you travel the world. Tell us how how you started this journey. What's the difference okay, so we're between? We're going to do this in like a minute, though, because we yes. just have to get into the six needs. All right. So high level of me. Um, my name's Shannon Green. I live here in Canada. I run a full service financial brokerage called Green Lending, uh, Green Lending Corporation from mortgages, private lending, administration, insurance, you name it. We're able to service you. How I got into pageantry as my final title that I've been holding is Mrs. Universe Jamaica 2021. Now I run the organization. We'll be back in Jamaica next year looking for a new queen. In a week and a half, I leave for the Philippines with our queen to compete internationally. Why I got into it is because I felt I was not good at public speaking and I felt I did not have the self-confidence that I needed and pageantry 
in the last 17 years has helped me with my networking, how to be a better entrepreneur, um, my confidence, my public speaking, you name it. There are a lot of skills a woman can learn and take away from pageantry where it's not just all about the beauty. Thank and you. Quickly, yeah. Thank Shannon, you uh, thank you. We're going to get you back. Maybe you get on an interview with Rod or Sherry later on to really go through this. But this morning is dedicated to mindset. So if you like to turn off your camera, we want your safety. We want you to be safe and beautiful on the stages around the world and representing all Jamaican awesome. Canadian Thanks women. Rod, you have your uh, hand up. Yeah, I just, again, wanted to welcome uh, Shannon. I always say welcome to the family, not welcome to the team or the business. Welcome to the family. And uh, I actually wanted to say real quick to the Full Circle Podcast community, I was just reminded of Reef when she turned on her camera, and I see the lovely Maria is with us this morning as well. This isn't a little thing. Access to resources where the community can come in here. Yes, this is a podcast. Yes, they're going to hear us on a on the audio, but to be able to see the smiles and the faces, I just, I'm just so grateful for that. Back to you, Ari. Thank you, Rod. So Sherry keeps me on, on track and she wants to talk about the six human needs because we really do need to talk about this. No matter what angle, and I'm looking at the clock, okay, we're 8, 11. No matter where you come from, there are impacts in two different ways that brought us right here. One is your hereditary, your genes, your mom and dad, whatever you brought to this world with you. The other was environmental. That determines how we go about getting our needs organized. You see, if the first priority is need to survive all your life, do you have time to create? Do you have time to think? Do you have to time to... So that's what most people do. Nine to five, and Rod has beautiful metaphors and things that he wants to talk about his nine to five, living in a box, going into the box, coming into the box, you know, going down on the ground in the box. That's not what we're here for. We were made in the image of God to understand these needs. The next first one is need for certainty. I'm certain I have food, I have water, I have air to breathe. I am certain. These are higher levels than just muzzle hierarchy of need, food, food, shelter, all of this. Certainty, once we have established a ground rod that we can be stable and on time every time and do all of the things that we plan to do, the next is to make it a little variety. You have a podcast, you have a website, you have, an, uh, you know, you have a lot of ways to reach people. And more people need to come here to contribute, to be showcased. You are the best promoter I know. That fulfills your need for significance. We all want to be somebody special. You know, they told us in the beginning of our first career, everybody has a sign on their chest, Sherry. Make me feel special. Imagine if we just went out there, we made people feel special. How much positive feedback we would get every day. It's a compliment. It's a nice smile, it's a beautiful word, it's something pleasant to another human being. Your thoughts on that, Sherry? I, I agree, and I think that uh, and you're you have three more to go through, but I think that as you go through them, we need to keep in mind that as with everything in, in life, there's a light side and a dark side, right? So with every one of these needs, there's a way of expressing them that is healthy and builds us up and then there's a, a, a way of, of, man, of um, fulfilling them that can be really dark and, and do a lot of damage to us so I, I can't wait for you to go through the other three with us and I'm gonna keep... with that note Sherry I really appreciate your feedback is invaluable to me I'm gonna start in the middle in love and connection the need for love and connection with family with community with this community right here let me ask you this. Do you think that the, the feeling of love, the emotion of love can stop you, hinder you from achieving your goals and dreams? 100%. Yes. Yes, it will. It could yeah. destroy you. Love or what is it called? Love could destroy your character. You emotionally mix you up. You'll be 
paralyzed. And if you disagree with me, I know you haven't had too many love experiences. <laughs> I ain't saying a word. <laughs> when your mind is consumed by that emotion, you are paralyzed from thinking creativity. For thinking variety. See, see how to fix this is the next you know, need that I'm going through, which is variety. We need variety. I have, for Rod knows this, for the last 15 years, every six months or a year, I go somewhere I've never been. I just want variety. I just love to meet new people. I love to experience things that I haven't seen. You know, behind the sunrise, there's a mountain behind this sunrise and there's an ocean there. I want to see, experience, feel. We were built to prosper. And the last, when you prosper, you come, you know, you go through the growth of your mind, you go through the creativity, discover your zone of genius, then you contribute. Rod has been so passionate about this contribution, he's admirable by the time and effort and energy he puts in just to make us unite. Because he feels the impact of contribution. I've gone to Rod's office where there's 500 people glued eyes to the scene and he's introduced me there so i know he wants to make an impact in the lives of others sherry same way i know shannon i know maria i know jake mike everybody wants to make other people feel better about themselves on daily basis tracy lynn Tracy Lynn's story is incredible. She wants to make a contribution how by telling her story i started reading some of the pages it was Man, the mind, the mind is the biggest ocean. It's not the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Watch what you put in your mind. Watch who, who you connect with on a daily basis. I'm really passionate because I've been in coaching most of my life, training. I didn't know this. I came to the realization, Sherry. We grow through. We're human becomings. We're not human beings. If you're human beings, you're just like an ant and, or, or, or a herd of sheep or we're just going through it, okay? No, we're human becomings. We understand our needs. We understand what motivates us. We understand even the origin of us. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I was uh, really excited to join Mama Norville's Daily Bread yesterday. It was a lot of fun just to sit like a fly. I want to invite everybody who's not in this room next time, Monday, today's Wednesday. We're going to have Thursday. Friday, we have a special show for you on PowerPoint, on everything else. Once a week, we showcase wasn't one business. This is all pending on Sherry's approval. I'm just making things, announcements out of random. But I'm telling you, if you want to, into, if you want to join this community, yes, Sherry, please. Uh, I, I really think it's important, Let, let's loop back to, we're talking to a group of spiritual entrepreneurs, and you just went through six super powerful needs um, as human beings that none of us are immune to. So, um, you know, the last two you mentioned, growth and contribution, those are two of the highest needs of all of the six. And because we're speaking to spiritual entrepreneurs, it's necessary to recognize that, that those two needs are really what drives spiritual entrepreneurs. You know, we have this need for growth. I spent the last two years just learning and learning and learning. And now when, when you fulfill that, you are in a prime position to contribute. And that is what drives spiritual entrepreneurs. But recognizing this in yourself is amazing. So Arif, you chose this topic today. I just want to give you kudos because it, it's, it's a beautiful subject and know thyself is the first step to to succeeding in life and i know that we're coming up to the last minute before we wrap up and seeing as rod is our is our uh, is our captain i want to know if you have anything to contribute to the conversation about our six needs i just am excited Arif, you reminded me what it was today when you said about there's something between listening and then taking the notes actually physically writing it down i remember we, we came up at the same time in the school of uh personal development and it was they actually said there's studies or read sherry if you've heard this that there's some i don't know if it's a chemical that's released differently or it's the tactile of touch and, and it's interesting 
many of us know if you don't use it, you what? In the chat, anybody? If you don't use it, you lose it, right? And I think about, Arif, I stopped journaling, I stopped writing, because we used to be in meetings taking notes. We used to take notes, copious amounts of notes and notes, and we'd look, and you'd always know the winners, right? Because the speaker would say something, Sherry, right? I remember Arif and I, we'd be on the stage, three, four, five hundred people, and we'd say something, and you'd see heads go down, but not all the heads. Mm-hmm. And then we'd say something else, and you'd see heads go down, and maybe it was different heads, but not all the heads. So as Arif shares today, Full Circle Podcast community, as you're reading and listening to this, what was it for you? Because it's different for everybody. But Arif's not speaking out of one side of his mouth and the other. But you got to be selfish. Arif, what's that radio station? What's in it for me? Raver, everyone's tuned into the same radio station, WIIFM. What's in it for me? And we got to be selfish, and that's okay. Because if you're going to be selfish to take from a reef and from Sherry what you got from today and then go out and impact others. We're going to take a quick 15 second break. When we come back, Sherry or a reef, any final comments or if you want questions or comments from the studio audience, don't go away. We'll be right back. (laughs) 